Hi, my name's Kajal and welcome to Ivy. I live in the North Tower, which is the first one when you enter. So I'll be showing you around. Probably the most convenient part of Ivy and my favorite is the dining hall. This is actually the only allergy-free dining hall on campus and it's literally in your building. You don't have to go anywhere. It has really great stuff. I would recommend it. You have cuisines from all around the world. And I would say that Ivy is better than Steast. So I would say that's pretty convenient. These are the Ivy classrooms, by the way. Sometimes clubs will have meetings here and sometimes I've heard actual classes meet, but a really cool thing is there is like a little water fountain if you want to fill up your water bottle because the Brita filter isn't working. And also there's like restrooms and things like that down there. So it's convenient and it's also a cool place to study and hang with your friends if you need another space that's in your building. This is the RA office. It's a really good place to kind of note and a great resource in case you have any questions, you get locked out, literally anything. Come to your RAs, they're here for you to help you and they will provide any support they can. Here are two printers that we have. Um, one is color, one is black and white. They're study pods. And here are the mailing lockers. So you can come here, tap your Husky card and pick up your package once you get the email from Northeastern saying that your package has arrived and you can pick it up from a smart locker. If it just says it's in Columbus or one of the other mailing centers, that's where you have to go to pick it up. So another cool thing about IV is that on the second floor we have actually a little mini private gym, which is really convenient because only people in IV can use it. And Merino can get kind of crowded. And also if it's like raining outside or really cold or gross because Boston the winter is kind of rough, um, it's really easy to just go to the second floor and not have to leave your own building to work out compared to making the trek. This is actually how you come into the building. There are proctor stations for each different tower. So since I am the North North East Tower, that would be right here, and then the West one is all the way at the end of the hallway. You would just tap in your Husky card, and or you could use the Seaboard app, and you could just kind of tap in with your phone that way, and they will open up the door over there, and you'll be able to come in. And you can also scan in guests, but you can only do three guests per person for, I think, every 30 minutes. I'm not exactly clear, but then you could always just get one of your friends to swipe them in for you. So this is our trash room. It's, um... It's great. You put the trash in here. You got some recycling, bottles and cans, paper, the works. And uh, that's pretty much it for the trash room. So a cool thing that every RA does on each floor is they have a little kind of banner here. Mine is Joanna, she's a fourth year, and they actually list out all of the different places that you will kind of need to know in the building. For example, the RA office, laundry, gym, and who the RDs are, which are basically like a little step up from the RAs. So you can go to the RDs or the RAs whenever you have any issues in the building. Um, and so I'm gonna show you the laundry room now. I'm in the east, so the 22nd floor would be the closest for me, but for example, I was in the West Tower last semester, so I would go to the 14th floor so this is the laundry room. So over here are the dryers. There are tons of dryers and tons of washers. Over here, also something to point out is that there are number and letter systems. Over here is the number eight, and then it's labeled as A, which means you would go to the A station for payment, and you would select machine number eight. Whereas over here, this is the B station for payment, and that would be for all of the dryers. And so you would just make sure you select the number correlated with that. And possibly the best part of the IV experience is the view. And what I love about my room is I live right next to the TV lounge. And that's right here. So you get a gorgeous view of the entire area of this corner. And you get some cool rocking chairs. There's a little TV here where you can plug in your phone, your laptop, whatever, and stream things. And there's also remotes if you want to watch something. Um, the common area is pretty nice. I also was a little worried about living next to it because I thought it'd be pretty noisy and rowdy, but people are really respectful and it's really quiet at night. And it's just a really cool place to hang out. I like coming here and just chilling and doing homework if I want to get outside of my room because it is kind of small. But overall, it makes it feel a lot more open and fun. And plus it's cool sometimes when you see other people on your floor and get that kind of sense of community. Come on in.
this is the micro fridge. You have to order this separately through a different company. And the company is Micro Fridge Rentals, but Northeastern has links to it on their website and it's really easy. They actually deliver it before you even enter the room if you do it early enough. But if you're late, it's okay. They'll deliver it later too. So you have a microwave, you just have to plug it in and you actually have, you have little outlets here, which is pretty neat. I don't use them. And then this is the freezer with our single JP Lux ice cream and our fridge, which we haven't bought in groceries yet, so it's a little shameful. This is our bathroom. Since we are in IV, you get a semi-private bathroom, which is right here, you can come in. Um, and it leads, actually, oh. <laughs> it leads to the other suite mate's room. So you have a shower, you have the toilet, you have a sink, and you have some drawer space underneath the sink, right over here. <laughs> um, where you can put anything you want. We just put like soap and stuff like that. And then each person, you know, there's shelves on both sides. So how people typically do it is one of the roommates, put, or well, one of the suite mates puts all their stuff here and then the others here. So in the room, there's a variety of furniture that comes in it. For example, this is our closet. Um, command hooks don't come with it, but I highly recommend you buy them. They're pretty cheap and they'll last you a long time, especially if you get the replaceable strap uh, strips. We have a shelf up here. You got a little rod here to put some hangers. Go to Target. The Target is like the number one recommended place. And then you also have a drawer in here. Um, each person gets a dresser and a desk. So this is Emma's dresser. It has lots of storage for her clothes. And then we have her desk, the chair, a nice little under the desk drawer, and then some drawers here. This shelf is pretty cool because you can actually flip it over if you want kind of like a low shelf down here. But I mean, Emma and I prefer to have it up here because it's a little bit nicer. You have a little bit more, I don't know, room over there if you want to put photographs or just stack up some books or something like that. This is a force double. If you're in an Ivy regular double um, or if you're like lucky, I guess, because all of the rooms have different kind of layouts, you could actually have unbunked beds. We do not have room for that in this room, so we have a bunk bed. I'm on the top bunk this semester. I got this on like Amazon. It's like a little uh, shelf caddy, which is nice to put my phone in when I'm sleeping and stuff like that, or my glasses. And it has this little protector here so you don't fall off, which is nice. Alrighty, so thank you for checking out my dorm and be sure to check out our channel to see all the other cribs on Northeastern, but I have to run to an NUTV shoot, so see ya.